Hello and welcome. Today guys, I'm going to be making for you all a crab and shrimp broil. To make this, I have here some potatoes cut up into small pieces, some Cajun sausage cut up into small pieces, corn cut up into segments or medallions. I have here some clams. If you can't find clams, that's okay. You can omit it. I have the snow crab legs here and all I did was I cut them up into smaller pieces. And by cutting these up into pieces, it helps that seasoning to get into the shell and really flavor that crab meat. Here I have shrimp and you can use any size of shrimp you want. You just want to make sure and clean them and devein them. I have minced garlic and for this recipe you're going to need a lot of minced garlic. So like two heads of garlic finely chopped up. I have half of a habanero with all the seeds chopped up. This is optional. If you want it you can use seasoning or pimento peppers or a fresno pepper. Unsalted butter. Paprika. I have some plain slap your mama which doesn't have that much heat. And then I have the hot and spicy one. I have here Maggie fish seasoning. Old Bay lemon and herb seasoning and just a regular Old Bay seasoning. So let's get started on putting this dish together. I wanted to mention you guys can use any type of Cajun seasoning. If you can't find these, use Zataran, Stony Cashes, any one that you can find, use those. So I'm going to start by putting up a big pot to heat up. To the pot, add in the butter. And if you guys didn't want to use all butter and you wanted to use half butter, half um, canola oil, vegetable oil or olive oil, you can. Now I'm going to add in the garlic. As the butter starts to melt, the garlic is going to release all of its natural oil and it's going to flavor that butter really well. You don't want to put in your garlic if the pot of the oil of the butter is screaming hot because you don't want the garlic to burn. You want it to take its time and soften. I'm also going to add in the habanero or hot pepper and just give everything a mix. Now I'm going to add in the Cajun sausage and if you wanted to omit this, you can. If you wanted to fry your Cajun sausage before you add that butter and garlic so that it creates a crust on the sausage, that's also an option. So I'm just going to let this saute in here for about 5 minutes. The garlic already smells very fragrant. Okay, so after about 5 minutes of sauteing, you're going to add in all of your seasonings. So here I have the lemon and herb, that bay seasoning. Here I have the hot Cajun, the mild Cajun, the fish seasoning, the regular old bay seasoning, and the paprika. Give this a mix and I'm not going to add any salt to this because those seasonings contain a lot of salt. You can taste it after and adjust your salt accordingly but I suggest don't put any until the end. You just want this to saute in here for about 2 minutes. Okay now in goes the potato and the corn. Give this a mix. Okay, now I'm going to add in about two cups of water. Now you want the potato and the corn to cook just until they're halfway done because they will continue to cook when we add in the shrimp and that crab and the clams. So just let it get going and once it starts to get slightly tender, then we'll add in the other ingredients. Guys, I forgot to tell you all to add in some black pepper, so I'm just going to add it on top and I'm going to mix it in. Okay, after about 8 minutes into the cooking, the potatoes are tender, I just checked them with a fork. Now I'm going to add in the clams. And these are really big clams. I got these at Food Town. If you're in Trinidad and you can't find clams, as I said, it's okay. You can use lobster, guys, if you wanted to. That's another option. So, Suzanne Ram, I hope you make this recipe 
use, utilizing some of those lobsters that your husband gets. In goes the shrimp. Just going to give this a mix. And I'm going to put in the crab. And now you see why I cut that crab up into smaller pieces because the pot is already full. I'm going to take my time and give this a mix. Okay, I just removed a couple pieces of the corn just to help the crab get enough space. So I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let it cook on low or medium low. Just for about 10 minutes until the clam, the crabs and the shrimp are cooked. You don't want to overcook these because they will get very hard and rubbery. I'm just going to go in and give this a mix because you want the juices at the bottom of the pot to go into the crab and the clams as I said. It smells really really good. Okay, so this just has a few more minutes. I'm going to cover it and let it finish. Okay, this is finished. The clams are open. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to return the corn and the... I did take out some of the potatoes. I'm going to return that to the pot. I'm just going to finish this with some chopped parsley and I'm going to mix that in. So here you have it, my recipe for crab and shrimp broil. If you guys enjoyed today's recipe, remember to hit that thumbs up button and to share this video with your friends. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!